Welcome back, everybody, to Explore the Megillah. We continue on with the last few words of Pasuk Aleph, verse 1, where the Megillah tells us that Achashverish ruled, Mehoidu va'at kush, from Hoidu to kush, Sheva ve'esrim umeya medina, 127 provinces. Why is that number 127 relevant? So Chazal tell us in Esther Rabbah, that the reason why Esther, Queen Esther, merited to rule over, as queen, 127 provinces, is because Esther was the daughter of Sara, meaning descendant of Sara Imenu, our matriarch Sarah, who lived for 127 years. Therefore, Esther merited to rule over 127 provinces. So, what's the connection there? I mean, it seems a little bit random. Esther being a descendant of Sara Imenu, ruled over the same amount of provinces as years that Sara lived. So the al Sheikh explains that a person could think that maybe Esther wasn't so great because we know that when Sara got kidnapped by Ahasuerus, by Parai, sorry, against her will, she was saved miraculously. All plague hit Parai's house, Parai realized he did the wrong thing, he freed Sara. Why wasn't Esther freed from Ahasuerus just like Sara was freed from Paroi. And the Megillah is telling us here that don't think that. Esther was obviously there for a reason. She was there to save the Jewish people. And that's why Hashem didn't save her, so to speak, from Ahasuerus' clutches. But to emphasize that Esther was no less righteous than Sarah was, the Megillah tells us the 127 provinces that Esther ended up ruling over because she was a descendant of Sarah Imenu. The Torah's Chaim explains that Esther actually wanted to give up her life and not marry Ahasuerus. She didn't want to live with such a wicked person. However, since she said, oh, why does the Torah, she thought to herself, why did the Torah tell us how long Sarah lived for? 127 years. Why is that relevant? It must be that the Torah is saying that there will be a woman who will come from her descendants, who will rule over 127 provinces. So she saw that the Torah had foretold about her becoming queen. And therefore she let it happen, without obviously knowing exactly why, but let it happen, which eventually obviously led to the salvation of the Jewish people. Abionis and Ibeshitz asks the question, that if it's only in the merit of Esther that Ahasuerus ruled over 127 provinces, why then... Did Ahasuerus rule over these 127 provinces before Esther became the queen? If it's really to do with Esther being a descendant of Sarah, 127 years, being 127 provinces, why does it happen at the beginning of the Megillah? It should have been that after Ahasuerus marries Esther, then he rules over 127 provinces. Why even before? And he answers that actually this is a part of the miracle. The truth is, he didn't merit to rule over 127 provinces until he married Esther. But Hashem made it happen before for a reason. Because the Gemara tells us a very interesting thing. The Gemara tells us that if not for the first letters, the Jewish people wouldn't have survived the story. What's, what's the Pshat? What does that mean? So we know that at the very beginning of the story of the Megillah, after Vashti rebels against Ahasuerus, Haman advises Ahasuerus to send letters throughout all the provinces of his, of, of which he ruled, to say that husbands should rule their houses and no wife should go against their husband. And Ahasuerus in his drunken stupor sent out this ridiculous letter to every province that he ruled over. And everyone got the letter, everyone got the edict and saw what nonsense it was. What, what, what kind of thing is this? What, what, what kind of letter is this? And therefore they started to ignore any other letter any other edict that came out of Ahasuerus' palace. And therefore, when the second set of edicts were sent out, later on in the Megillah, with the command to destroy all the Jewish people on the 13th of Adar, no one paid attention to it. Because this ridiculous king comes out with ridiculous edicts. Now, as we explained yesterday, the severity of the decree of Ahasuerus over any other time in Jewish history, was that he literally ruled over every single place that the Jewish people lived. Therefore, says the Megillah, 
that even at the beginning of the story, Achashverosh ruled over 127 provinces. Therefore, that ridiculous edict about every man should be in charge of his household was sent out to all those 127 provinces. And then when he sent out the second edict, all the people of those 127 provinces ignored that second edict. Had Achashverosh not ruled over all those places before, not all of those places would have gotten the first edict. They would have only gotten the second. And perhaps they would have, yes, paid attention to it. And therefore, in the merit of Esther, Achashverosh ruled over Sheva, Ve'esrim, Medina, over these 127 provinces, before